Hello kids, welcome to Gurukul Bright World School. Today we are going to do our science lesson number 2, our food. So let's start. So dear children, this is our lesson number 2, our food. Now when it comes to food, we all know food is a basic need of all living things, right? Food gives us nutrients, energy. There are different types and sources of food. As you can see here, there are picture of different kind of meals we eat. Right? So all these food that we eat, they are giving us the nutrients and energy. As you can see, most fruits are eaten raw. But only few vegetables such as cucumber, tomato, cabbage, carrot, red dish are usually eaten raw. So we all know that fruits can be consumed raw. But only few vegetables are consumed raw. The food that must be cooked before eating include grains, Pulses, beans, fish, meat and vegetables such as potato, cauliflower and so on. So kids, cooking kills germs and makes food soft and easy to digest. Cooked food also tastes and smells good. There are Different methods of cooking. Let's see some of the methods of cooking. Frying. This is called frying. Frying is the method of cooking raw food to enhance flavor by submerging them in the oil. Puri, samosa, bhajiya, etc. are a few examples of fried food. Boiling. Boiling is a method of cooking food in boiling water. Boiled rice, tea, coffee are few examples of boiled food. Steaming. Steaming is a method of cooking food over boiling water. Idli, dhokla, etc. are few examples of steamed food. Baking. Baking is a method of cooking in which food items are cooked in an oven at a very high temperature. Biscuits, bread, cookies, cakes are few examples of baked food. Roasting Roasting is a method in which food items are cooked over an open flame or using dry heat in an oven. Paneer tikka, grilled vegetables are few examples of Roasted food. So here we have seen different examples of different methods of cooking. Vada, Jalebi, Gulab Jamun, Puri are few examples of fried foods. Rice is an example of boiled food. Idli, Dhokla are example of steamed food. Bread, cookies, pies, they are all example of, pies are example of baked food. Roasted papad, roasted peanuts and paneer tikka are example of roasted food. The first one is pressure cooker. A pressure cooker is used to steam or boil vegetables and rice. Wok. Wok is a large bowl shaped utensil used for frying vegetables. Pot. A pot is used for steaming and boiling milk, vegetables and rice. It is known as cooking pot. Now we will go to our next utensil pan. There are three types of frying pans. Flat tawa shallow frying pan and deep frying pan. 
A flat tawa is used to make chapati and dosa. A shallow frying pan is used to make cutlets or steep fry vegetables. A deep frying pan is used to fry potatoes, make samosas or even to fry puris. We will have a look on some of the cooking appliances and fuel. People use different kinds of fuels and cooking appliances to cook food. The very first is tandoor. A tandoor is a clay oven. Fuels such as wood and charcoal are used to heat a tandoor. A tandoor is one of the oldest traditional oven. Next here we are having is chula. A chula is a stuff made out of bricks or mud. Wood, cow dung cakes or charcoal are used as fuels in the chula. Let's see the next one. The two types of commonly used stoves are kerosene stove and gas stove. In the former, Kerosene is used as fuel. Gas stoves are used in many houses for cooking. The cylinder, which is the source of fuel, is filled with liquefied petroleum gas, LPG. The LPG, the fuel, flows from the cylinder to the stove through a tube. Nowadays, environment-friendly appliances such as solar cookers are being used to cook. They use direct sunlight to heat or cook. Microwave ovens or microwave ovens use electricity to cook food. They cook food very quickly and at high temperature. So here we have completed our Lesson number two, our food. Kids, overcooking food results in loss of nutrients. So it is very important to cook our food in time. These are the fruits, vegetables and this is a plate of a cooked food. Let's recap our lesson number two. Some food items are cooked while others are eaten raw. Example is fruits. There are different methods of cooking food such as frying, example is samosa, boiling, example is potatoes, steaming, example is joklas, baking, example is cake and roasting, example is pani tikka. We use different types of utensils such as pressure cookers, woks, pots and pans to cook food. LPG that is liquefied Petroleum, gas, kerosene, wood and charcoal are used. Are some of the fuels used for cooking food? Some of the commonly used cooking appliances are chulhas, tandoors, kerosene stoves and gas stoves. So I hope you all understood our lesson number two. Thank you all the kids for listening me out. I hope you understood the lesson. Thank you.